<laughs> artifacts are truly such a grind. I feel like after I built my like main, you know, teams, I I just never wanted to build another character. I was good. We're good. That's why all of the characters I've gotcha for since then, I just straight up like haven't built because I'm like I can't. This is so exhausting. But I hope you guys had a fun, a fun stream. Thanks for joining us. We're playing Yoimiya's second story quest. Desert Pavilion is your home. I feel you so much. Are we still in the dreamscape? I like the soundtrack. This is so reminiscent of Yoimiya Part 1. What is this, Super Mario? <laughs> I love this soundtrack. She's what? It does feel very Kirby. You're so right. stars everywhere <laughs> So wholesome. I'm so soft. I loved it. The dream within a dream concept was fantastic. Stellar execution. Let's go. Let's go. This is peak Hoyoverse writing. This is crazy. <laughs> it's very like show don't tell, you know? Like, holy shit. Yeah, and their orchestration of it for you. <laughs> Thanks, Nahida. <laughs><笑> <laughs> it's proof of like the whole thing I was saying about how Yoimi would like definitely know that it was a dream it's proof that she was like hyper aware of it or there's no way she would have like made the jump you know what I mean yeah oh wait no that's literally in the dialogue option yeah you already knew it was a dream <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's literally what I was saying earlier oh my god I love it Peak Genshin writing. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've missed this. They've like. There's been a bit of. Like, Genshin has really good writing, like, most of the time, but. They do so much like live service game bullshit, you know, that amidst all the shitty writing, it's like really easy to forget that they do they do really solid things too. 
Um, I feel like usually the format nowadays is like, it's a bunch of kind of like weirdly paced, not, you know, superfluous writing type experience. And then they'll drop a few good moments or good lines in there. And then you're like, okay, I guess I'm so satisfied. But this one start to finish felt really efficient and like structured and intentional. And like the medium was the message and they showed and didn't tell. And it was, it was perfect. Everything about this story quest was really perfect. It was very, very good. <laughs> Ying is secretly part of the Hoyo writing team. I just, I think I appreciate Hoyo's best writing, and when they do it, I can smell it, and that's all it is. I want to hear that soundtrack again. That was so nice. I love that because the best thing about a dream within a dream thing is to call reality itself into question because it's all about blurring the lines between reality and fantasy, right? So who's to say we've woken up is such a fantastic response from Ether. These are all of my favorite tropes, like thrown into one story. Like, this is why the whole, like, like world tree thing and Nahida's story and actually more accurately maybe wander story like the world quest not the world the archon quest of sumeru like hit me so fucking hard it was because it was all about like reality and belief and experience and memory those are my fucking soft all of my soft spots <laughs> <laughs> there's a leaderboard for that <laughs> Perfect delivery. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yoimiya is so... You're so... You're so smart and so perfect. I love you. Oh my god. Holy shit. Her heart is golden. Absolutely. This is what I mean. She would be great at improv theater, right? Like, she knew exactly what to say. Oh my god, she's a good Nara. She's a good Nara, 100%. She knew. <laughs> Yoimiya gets it. I think they're cuter than the carvings, though. I agree. After sending off and home, you and Yoimiya spent a few more days in Sumeru. She's the true golden Nara, truly. Amorita receives word of Avin's condition and implements a comprehensive treatment plan. Avin is now eagerly cooperating with her care team and she's feeling more cheerful than ever. Yoimiya's date of departure comes quickly. Avin and her mother also come to the wharf to bid her goodbye. We just need Tignani, Kale, and Sino for some found family, and the combo would be so deadly. I know, right? <laughs> All so wholesome, that group. Make it like a star. I love it when they do this like meta message to the gamers, right? To the player audience where they're like, don't forget to swing by Inazuma and hang out. Like, 
in the same way, like, I, I still remember back when I first finished the Genshin prologue, um, the Monstadt quests, right? And then Venti says something that's along the lines of, like, um, like, remember that, like, like, your eyes are on the destination, but remember that the journey is what matters. Like, he's a line that's kind of like that. And I was like, this is, this is a meta comment from the game dev team to the player base. They're saying to, like, enjoy the journey. They're like, we hope you have fun. <laughs> oh my god. I think part two story quest also had a lot of that. The like, you will shine like gold in my memory stuff. Oh my god. I love it when they pull this shit. But usually only Archons get this kind of thing, you know? So, or and Yaya. Yaya's quest also at the end fucked me up. <laughs> Yoimi, I got the Archon treatment. Uh, okay. Fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. May your days be filled with happiness. Don't they have that new weapon set coming that's like, get all this damage bonus by helping all these NPCs? Wait, really? I don't know about this. Wait, hold on. Is it a leak? I mean, a dream? We saw it in a dream? It's the current event? Oh, okay. Right, this is the kind of message that usually you only get from like the Zhongli Venti Archon types. Like the game devs usually put these kinds of words into the Archon mouths. But because Yoimiya represents like ephemeral eternity <laughs> in many ways she's like a perfect person to deliver this as well holy shit that was so fucking good i'm like so shook right now <laughs> jesus christ oh my god Okay, uh... We did get the r and carving. Wait, is it like a quest item or is it a furniture piece? Is it a furniture piece? Are you gonna watch the new Star Rail trailer? I don't know. I didn't know there was a new trailer. Alright. That also took less time than I expected, which in my mind is like that that was the perfect quest. Like it was short, it was fulfilling, it was to the point. It didn't over explain anything. There was a lot that was left unsaid that the whole point was for us was to figure out, but they gave us enough hints and nudges for like the lowest common denominator if they weren't, you know, catching them. Um it like told us, it showed us a lot of things about Yoimiya's personality that made her very endearing, but also representative of like the game's main messages as a whole and the main themes of like hope and memory and experience. And and it was all done so like succinctly. Like I don't know why some of these quests have to be fucking four hours long. Crazy. That was perfect. That was so good. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Ariana. <laughs>